hard mewing and just crazy mewing techniques that will just apply a spike, a pressure spike, but not a gradual force. Could actually be considered as dangerous. In my opinion, there is only one way to actually, to really do this, and it is to create something similar to braces. Look at my teeth. They weren't always like that. Took me two years. So applying a force and create movement, does work 100% no question about it. You will need a permanent contraption in your mouth or on your face or somewhere that will apply constant pressure. Initiating. Welcome back. Welcome back to my daily grind. Create yourself is what you'll find me doing every day and every night. No time to lose one day. One step in the right direction, I'm Chris and I'm only here to show you if I can do it, you can do it too. Welcome back to the vlog, it is Tuesday, another day, another chance to push hard and the topic for this vlog is soft mewing versus hard mewing and also I'm, I will talk about thumb pulling uh, briefly. So let's get it. By the way, all the looks making related vlogs right here, watch them all. But before we get started, love course, out to all my subscribers, thank you for making my life special and worth living to the max. So let me try to give back with a sweet, sweet video. Now I'm sure about the difference between soft and hard mewing. Mewing is tongue posture, in other words. Check out Orthotropics Basics and just, you know, just watch through the Looks Maxim playlist. There are a lot of mewing videos in chronological order. And the difference between soft mewing and hard mewing is soft mewing, you just, you just go for the proper posture, bring up your tongue to the roof of your mouth, and then just let it sit there. And then when we get to hard mewing, you press against the roof of your mouth with full force basically, that is hard mewing. Some consider this as a bit of dangerous and there is actually, <laughs> there, there is a level on top of that which is thumb pressing, which is so ridiculous in my opinion. You take your thumbs and, that is so crazy, why? And you, and you press them, salty. Bro, I should have washed my hands. <laughs> oh my goodness. You press them against the roof of your mouth with the idea behind it to widen your palate and let me explain why this is really stupid. Now, applying a force to move things works. Proof of concept, look at my teeth. They are nice and aligned. Check out my teeth journey. They weren't always like that. Took me two years, more than two years, to get nice straight teeth. So applying a force and create movement does work. 100% no question about it. Keyword braces. But the difference between techniques like thumb pulling, thumb pressing, whatever you want to call this, and braces is that braces apply a constant force, which is not too great actually. Just, well, it is actually a great force because it hurts like at least it did for me. But the keyword here is constant. Now, when you go for a thumb pulling exercise, it's a spike in force. You apply force, even if it's for a minute, even if it's for an hour, you will apply a spike and then you will let go. Big amplitudes are not good for the body. Think about it. You need slow, constant, gradual movements. If you go for a spike in force, hey, what will happen? Maybe you will break your bone. This is what will happen. That's why I think this technique could actually be considered as dangerous. There is no other way to put this. This is stupid. No personal offense against the guys who recommend this and against the guys who do this. Bad ideas will lead to good ideas, but you sh should stay malleable in your mind and try new things. And also think about the possibility that your techniques might be stupid. I just love ranting, oh my goodness. But I also would love s new mewing techniques that actually will speed up the progress. And I think, in my opinion, there is only one way to actually, to really do this and it is to create something similar to braces. You will need a permanent contraption in your mouth or on your face or somewhere that will apply constant pressure. Not too much. You don't want to rip something apart. You want to, for example, widen your palate slowly. It does work with, with braces, it does work. So I think this is the way to go. It's basically like tongue chewing versus using jaw trainers. Jaw trainers will lead to an imbalance and this could be considered as dangerous, negative side effects. And the same with hard mewing and just crazy mewing techniques that will just apply a spike of force is pressure spike, but not a gradual force. And please don't mix this up with like training your muscles. Of course, they will need more like a spike, but like for bones. Bones will deform and get malleable just really slowly. So you need to think in this, in these terms, slow but steady. Yeah, that's what I wanted to say in this one. If you want to do hard mewing the whole day, maybe yeah, just go for it. But this thumb pulling, I think that's a waste of time. 
and it could be dangerous. Someone ha definitely has a talent to wreck his gums with this technique. <laughs> I'm sure about it. Anyway, smash the like button the way you could smash your, <laughs> the top of your roof. Uh, the <laughs> I'm brain dead. You get it, right? Just smash the like button and bang the bell like pa, to never miss looks like single re related vlogs and check the recent news on chrisviral.com. And yeah, that's it for today. I will see you tomorrow.